He is a part-time official who joined the RFL ranks in 2020. His first taste of officiating the Bradford Bulls and we'll go through the Bradford lineup once again then so there's three players making their debut here this afternoon at the Keepmore Stadium Aaron Murphy, Ben Evans and Billy Jowett and the Bradford Bulls will line up with Joe Brown at fullback as the Sheffield Eagles get us underway here as Brandon Pickersgill takes the ball in his in- owning goal area and he'll immediately feed the ball to Dan Fleming and Fleming is smothered there in a two-man tackle five metres out from the Bradford try line so Bradford line up with Joe Brown at fullback the wing free quarter line of Reese Hamlet Reese Evans, Ross Oaks and Jack Sanderson, the half-back partnership of Brandon Pickersgill and Danny Brough, the front row forwards, Dan Fleming, Tom Doyle and Steve Crossley, the back row forwards, Adam Rooks, Brad Gallagher and at loose forward, on debut, Aaron Murphy and on the interchange bench, Ben Evans, Billy Jowett, Levy Enzongu and Eben Skur. Here goes Steve Crossley on tackle, number five, Bradford. They're 30 metres out from their own try line. They're having to do it a little bit tough here at the start of this game as Danny Brough gets a kick away and that's going to bounce kindly for the Bulls here because Reese Evans has got onto the ball. Reese Evans palms it backwards. Fleming has it. A chance for Bradford out wide. Brown kicks ahead into open territory and that one is just going to go the right to the wrong side. No, it's not. Joe Brown is going to try and keep Sheffield in the in-goal area but Guzdek does exceptionally well and has offloaded the ball and now Sheffield Field have gone into touch. James Glover has been tackled in touch on the Mark Aston side. They're in good ball field position. 20 metres out, ready for another post. Fakri now, a perfectly weighted kick, looking to put pressure on Sanderson. Warrensy somehow gets the ball, offloads it back to Fakri. And Sheffield are going to open the score in here. And that is fortuitous look from Mark Aston's side. Post the Sheffield Eagles stand off half. And he puts that one between the posts and over the black dot. And this afternoon, hopefully that is back up and running for those that have paid to watch it. But you have got commentary here. And I'm going to tell you that the Eagles have doubled their lead. It is now 10 points to nil. In lively, always a constant threat, Josh Gulsdeck. And Sheffield 30 metres out on the last tackle. Fakri kicks ahead. Brown's chasing on the inside. Brown's going to get there. And Brown has touched down for the Sheffield Eagles at the side of the posts. And Sheffield, they have extended their lead. The kick predictor at 100% from in front of the post as Isaac Farrell adds a crucial two points. Sheffield have the ball 20 metres out as it goes now towards Fakri to Farrell. Farrell to Guzdek. Guzdek to Glover. Glover, pass one, pass two. Glover's over the Bradford line, but he can't ground the ball. Although the referee will say he's grounded it. And it is going to be a fourth try. The referee still having a word with a touch judge given here because that was clear as day and knock on. But the Eagles played to the whistle and they are going to cross out wide, are they? With Farrell, they are going to cross. It's a try from Joel Farrell. A hugely controversial moment in this game. 20 metres shy of the halfway line. Well, there you go. There's your your answer. The the countdown clock is not the actual clock. As Anthony Fakri kicks early. And now Sheffield Eagles have a chance for another try. And it's a sensational try from the Sheffield Eagles. Served a couple of of volleys from John Keir at half-time base. Oh, no, as Anthony Fakri breaks through when we're looking like another... Another Sheffield score here with Sanderson chasing back. Ten metres out, the, they've put the brakes. Oh, he stepped inside. That's another try, and it's Isaac Farrell. Completely against the runner plate. They start this second half, but that's the way this game's gone. And another hammer blow for Bradford this afternoon. Extra two points, and uh, it's only because he's not had his goal-kicking radar switched on that the scoreboard hasn't blown out further. Yeah. At the Keyboard Stadium. Here goes Pickersgill. Pickersgill fires it along the line. It goes to Gallagher. Gallagher's rolled over. And the 12 metres out from that Sheffield line now. Danny Brough back in centre field. Lays it off. No, he doesn't. Dummied it towards Evans. It goes to Rooks. Rooks is through a gap. And Adam Rooks will open the try scoring for the Bradford Bulls. It was Brandon Pickersgill. His pass on the outside. To- anyway, so there's a long way to go, but certainly in this second half, signs of, signs of life from the Bradford Bulls. Danny Bruff adds the extra two. He goes out to three from four. He- Sheffield Eagles players 
saying no penalties. And here come the Bradford Bulls down the middle. It's Billy Joe in inside support. And Joe Brown's away. Joe Brown. He's got too much toe on Ryan Miller. And we said there was a spark. A catalyst. Sheffield look gassed. They're out on the feet. The Bulls have gone back to back. And do not divert your ears away from this one this afternoon. Exactly the same this afternoon. These last sort of 10, 15 minutes have been much, much better. And the absolute bare minimum what you expect from a rugby league side like Bradford. So... It's a platform. It's a catalyst for further improvement. You know. The ball out in the act of scoring. It happened so quick. But the Eagles, they thought they had try number eight. The Bradford Bulls director sat below. They had the head in the hands. Well, here comes Eben Skur. And Eben Skur's away. Skur inside to Pickersgill. Pickersgill's got the ball. Pickersgill line open. Pickers goals brought down, 15 metres out. This game has really come alive in the last 15 minutes. And we've just hit the hour mark. It goes wide to Danny Bruff. Danny Bruff's gone for glory. His pass has been picked up by Anthony Fakre. Fakre against Ben Evans. Reese Evans, the two Evans brothers. It's a valiant chase back. But Fakre's in at the corner. Tackle in centre field. It goes towards Fakre. Fakra keeps the play going towards Farrell. Farrell gets the ball away to Glover. Inside support to Fakra. It does go from bad to worse. Eagles back to back. Second wind. 82%. This time a little bit more favourable. Isaac Farrell between the posts. Four from nine attempts this afternoon. And on West Yorkshire Rugby League. All 25 metres out from his own try line and Warrensy now has space Sheffield have numbers on the inside and the outside it goes wide to Ryan Miller Miller course past Pickers girl and Sheffield have a chance now to put 50 points on the Bradford Bulls because Ryan Miller goes around and underneath the post and it is going to be a disastrous start to the season because just like that the Eagles as James Glover adds the extra two Farrell's in the sim bin, remember, so he goes from one from one. 